What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, the Auto Shop Life. So, we all got those want lists, you know, the tool want list, you got the need list. I've, I've talked about it before, but uh, today, pretty proud day to say I finally chipped another one off the, uh, the old want list. You know, getting into, uh, I like to... I'd like to be getting into more, you know, these uh, how-to videos and, you know, working on the car, showing you guys my process. You know, I know I've been slack. it just been busy. You know, you got customers waiting in the waiting area. You got another five or six cars outside. You know, sometimes you just got to kind of get to it and get the stuff done as soon as possible. But I'm trying to get back into it, and I got a great one that's going to be my partner in crime figuring out these cars looking out there for you know a small compact bi-directional scan tool you know sometimes I don't feel like lugging a computer monitor you know out in the parking lot to a car or you know to a bay that's already cramped with parts and tools and you know stuff in customers cars and all that stuff you know just want a little handheld bi-directional scan tool to get these jobs done today that search is over finally picked up one from launch so I want to show you guys this one get this thing cracked open show you what's in there check it out Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so before we dive down, obviously links to this one is going to be down in the video description. Pretty much, you know, the place to get these things. The King Bolin, they pretty much got the best deals out there. You know, talking about the tech support and all that stuff, we get into it. But that's where I picked this one up. That one list is getting smaller and smaller. I still got the Altel MS908 I want to get. Got to get the, uh, still want to get an updated laptop out there. Mine's getting a little old. And then the, uh, you know, four-channel PicoScope that's been on the top of the list for a long time. But it just keeps getting bumped down to, for great products like this. But this was definitely needed more than the... You know, a lab scope. I, I got a lab scope. I use a lab scope on the Varus and a couple other ones I got out there. So, Pico scope could wait for now, but finally chipped away at this. So, if you guys haven't guessed already, I got the Digon, little small bi directional scan tool. Comes with a nice blow molded case. You know, of course, it's got the OBD connectors, you know, foam padding in there and all that. Great, great case. You know, I always like tools that come in great packing and all that you could always tell the quality you know how much they care about the tool and all that stuff how good the tool is by the packing in, in itself but uh get this thing open set up the camera dive down show you guys what's in this give you guys my first impressions on it you know all right so here's the case try to do this backwards got nice little latches on it and there it is so of course you know i checked this thing out already um it actually came, you know, fully depleted, so I had to charge it. it took about, you know, a couple hours to get all the way up to 100% battery life. But there's the unit itself. It's got little cavities for each one. It comes with the OBD-1. Not 100% sure if, you know, most of these cars are going to work on the OBD-1 or if it's going to talk to it. But, you know, anything when it comes to OBD-1, you know, I usually break out the Varus anyways. But, you know, if these work, I will be trying them and uh, see what they are. I noticed right off the bat, looks like it's missing a Chrysler and a Subaru, but uh, got the unit, comes with a bunch of bags here. So it looks like you got an adapter bag, uh, oh, the DLC port adapter, you got a couple other connectors in here, um, maybe the charger, this is to power up the OBD-1 connectors for the cigarette lighter. They do not have one that clips to the battery, at least that I see yet. And then a couple more adapters here. Maybe the, uh, maybe the Chrysler ones in these bags here. Um, most of these are just DLC connectors here. Um, so yeah, we got the uh, user guide, starter guide, probably the activation for the uh, the little dongle that they send. You gotta get the set, it, set up in that, go through that real quick with you guys. But that's pretty much all that's in the packing. You got uh, 12 OBD-1 connectors and uh, three bags. And then I got you got the charger that comes in this bag here. Um, I actually didn't see that right away. I'll show you guys what I did, how I charge mine, and how I plan on charging it in the future. 
pretty cool setup. <clears throat> but that's what's in the box. Getting to the unit itself, you know, it's pretty compact. It's pretty nice. It's got a little spot for the, you know, it is wireless. It's got a little spot for the dongle here at the top. I'm sure you guys have seen these. You know, if you haven't seen these, you guys, you guys are watching this, you guys are thinking about getting it. You know, let let me say, I, I, you know, I felt the same way. You know, I'm finally glad I was able to pick one up. Got it for a really good deal. Like I said, I'll leave links and his support Facebook page in the description. But you know, they gave me a pretty good deal on it, so can't complain. Got a screen protector on it, but I did have to charge this. This thing did come, you know, completely dead. Wouldn't even power on when I opened it. So you know, as I was charging it, a little excited. So what I did is I got, uh, you know, they got a little, you know, it's waterproof, dustproof, shotproof. So they got a little door here for the charger and everything's pretty much sealed. Um, I don't even know if you'd be able to get this little cell phone out of here if you had to. Uh, taking it out of the case, it's pretty much all in one. But I got, I don't know if you guys see the little charger part there. I got one of those magnetic chargers and it fits in there perfect. So, you know, I go to charge this thing pretty much just stick it on there and it starts charging I felt it vibrate you can see launch you got the logo pops on there but you know it's an easier way than you know they got the they got the the USB type you know the smaller USB type on there it's not a US USB C type or anything like that so you know trying to line that sucker up and getting it pushed in there without destroying prongs and all that stuff you know just leave this bad boy in there when I got to charge it just pop it on there and it gets to charge in. So a nice way to do it. You can pick these up on Amazon. And then this also clo still closes and that little piece stays in there for good. So get this thing powered up. Check the boot up time. Keep this one real basic. We'll get into more, uh, you know, this tool in use in other videos. See how long the boot up time is though. From what I remember, you know, it takes a while, first initial boot up, you know, if you power this thing up first time in the day, it's going to take a little bit, you know, I'd probably say best thing to do is just power this thing up at the beginning of the day, and then, you know, if it's got a little battery, let it sit on charge, and that's why I use, you know, an easier way to charge it. This thing is Android based, as it says there, obviously, uh, we know that, but it's a pretty strong, compact unit. So, it's on. You can see the time, pretty much just like a cell phone. I'm sure you could put other apps on there too and all that stuff. It's got a drop down menu just like Android. Um, you know, you don't see iPhone making phone making scanners like this. You know, I, iPhone based, iOS based. Um, no offense to you, uh, Apple owners or anything like that. But here's the Diagon app here. You go to it. It'll launch the app suite. And then it's pretty much a setup as any launch product, you know, the same six or seven icons. You know, you got your your, your quick diagnose, you got your spec, special function, it's got feedback. They do have tech support and all that stuff for these. You know, you're having trouble or issues with it. You know, they do have a pretty solid tech support. And, uh, you know, King Bowen has a pretty solid uh, Facebook page, support support group for his Facebook page. You guys check them out. Make sure you, make sure you follow them on Facebook. Um, personal setter that's for your maintenance you know you could put your name on there and register the device you do have to register and activate the dongle as I said um, your software update would be this icon here but that's pretty much the gist of it I mean you go into it it's got pretty good coverage of cars you know you're American European Asian they got ones in here that you know cars I've never heard of cars that I'll never see um, cars that you know I'll probably never work on nor do I want to um, but yeah, it's, uh, I believe you could probably take some of these out of here so there's less there when you're trying to find one. Um, you know, it's Android based. You can pretty much do anything you want with this thing. You end up rooting it or whatever. But got a wide coverage of the vehicle manufacturers. You know, it looks like I'll have no issues with most of the ones that I work on here. And then at the top here, it'll show you, you know, your pretty common ones. You know, obviously what's going to end up in there is the BMW, Chrysler, Ford, Chevy. Um, you know, maybe some Hondas, Hondas, and things like that. But that's the unit itself. It's got volume button here at the top, volume up, volume down. You can see you got your screen off, screen on, and power button there. Like I said, where the dongle goes, it's got rear-facing camera with a flash. You got your social, you got your uh, 
You got your uh, serial number on the back. It looks like it's got a little speaker grate there at the bottom. Nice handle. Looks like it's built pretty well. Some thick rubber. And then it's got a nice, you know, leather kind of dash work uh, rubber casing all the way around the, you know, the red plastic. But nice unit. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on just a quick unboxing on this thing. Powered up. You know, obviously it took a couple hours yesterday to charge it and all that stuff, but you guys are looking for a small, compact, bi-directional scan tool, you know, the X431 Digon, you know, I, I've seen it out there. You know, I could have thrown this in with the tool haul video, but, you know, I believe this thing deserves its own video. You know, I'm pretty excited about getting it. Can't wait to get it out there, show you guys this thing in action, how I use it, my process. The Digon X431 IV, there it is, it's all its glory. So, wrapping this one up, guys, I'll be sure to do a follow-up video. We'll get this thing out there on a couple of those cars out there, do some, uh, you know, in-depth reviews on it, see what this thing could really do, see what it can handle and what it can't handle, you know, its pros and cons and all that stuff. But, as always, like, comment, subscribe, check out the links in the description. Check you in the next one. Signing out.